that. Hello, this is the first video I've done where I'm speaking in it, um, so mind, it might be a bit dodgy, but this is the first time I've done it, so give me a break. Um, I'm subscribed to a channel on YouTube called John Robson Guitar, uh, he's my guitar teacher. Um, he does a live stream on a Friday uh, where we all log in and it's a live chat and we have a beer and chat about guitar. Um, during the live stream, stream on Friday, uh, there was a guy called Vox Blackheart, or Dark Heart, I can't, I can't remember, um, but he was asking how to assign a MIDI pedal to guitar rig so you can control the wah pedal and stuff like that. Um, so here's a video, short video on how I do that. Um, I hope it works for you mate. Um, I hope your pedal's not faulty and this gives you a solution. It did, I, I struggled with it when I first started using Guitar Rig because I got stuck in the rabbit hole of trying to configure my pedal as a rig control. Um, rig control's discontinued. I can't get one, if you can get one you're pretty lucky. They don't sell them anymore. Um, any any MIDI controller pedal will work um, and it's quite simple to assign. Uh, just ignore all of the settings in Guitar Rig 5 for the rig control. Um, in Guitar Rig 6 they've actually taken that all out, it's not there. Um, but you can still assign a MIDI pedal. I think the reason they've done that is they've discontinued the pedal and they view it that you just use any MIDI pedals, why would you spend 350 quid on theirs when you can get one for 50 quid? Um, which is a valid point really. But anyway, here's my uh, short video on how to set it up and, and make it work. Um, if you've not seen a live stream before, you've not seen John Robson's channel, I recommend it highly. Uh, the guy's an excellent guitar teacher um, and the live stream is good fun. So this is the pedal I use, uh, it's called the FB Express Mark II. Um, there's two lights, and those lights indicate to you which MIDI assignment the pedal here is assigned to. So it's volume or wah MIDI CC assignment. You can see that switch in it. I press the foot switch with the pedal volume wah. That's the USB connector, standard USB to the PC through the cable. All right, so we need to check the pedals installed in Windows. Go to Device Manager. You go Sound Video and Game Controllers. Expand it up and you should have FB Express Mark II. If you right click, <coughs> go to Properties. The device is working properly and the Windows driver is installed. Now we need to load up the FB Express program. So type FBV in in the search bar. And it brings up the, the firmware controller program. So if you click on any of the parts of the pedal in this program, it highlights in the in the table below the MIDI settings um, in the firmware for the pedal for, for that part of the pedal. So if you click on toe switch for example. It shows you how the toe switch works. So to set it up for um, wire control and volume control, um, I've, you can see I've got the, the settings set um, and the switch mode is, is pedal for both of those. There's a MIDI CC number, it's set to expression. Um, and there it's set to pedal. Um, the buttons are assignable. You can set them to toggle or you can set them to monetary, latch on, latch off, however you want to use them. Um, for example, if you want to switch a preset in Guitar Rig, I, I, I find it's best to have it on momentary. Um, and then if you want to switch, for example, you want to put the boost on an amp, um, I, I find it's best to have it on toggle. Um, and then it'll hold the boost on, otherwise you have to hold your foot on the pedal. Um, so that's, that's how you sign the buttons. And 
and of course, with, like anything with computers, you've got to save your settings. Um, so you save it as a default or save it as your own. It's up to you. I recommend not to save over the default settings. Um, as if you save over the default settings, you can't go back. So I rename them as .old and work like that. So you can see there's FBV default there. And there's my patch there. I'm sorry for jumping around, but th there's there's how I do it. You copy FBV default, paste it in, and then rename the pasted one as default old, and you've got a backup of your default. Now the exciting bit, so open Guitar Rig 5, or 6. <laughs> um, what you need to do is you need to assign your pedal to the wah um, modifier in the in the program, so I'll start a new preset, chuck in a wah. Um, what you need to do is assign this slider here, so that it moves with your foot pedal, and then the wah pedal will work like a normal wah pedal. Um, when I first got Guitar Rig and I was trying to figure all this out, I was stuck in here trying to figure out how do I calibrate the pedal and the reset and the rig control. And it's got nothing to do with rig control. Rig control is no longer for sale. You, you'd be lucky to get one. Um, and it's discontinued by Native Instruments. The easiest way to do it, you right click, you click learn, and you move your pedal. Once you move your pedal, that's it, it's done. It's assigned. Um, and that will now work as a wire pedal. There's a bit of dodgy wire playing for you, just for good measure. Right, so there you go. Um, there's my short video. I hope it helps people. I hope you can get your, your MIDI pedals working with Guitar Rig and, and have some wah fun. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe and like. Um, do my mega channel some favours. <laughs> um, I hope everyone has a lovely day. Bye bye.